Good morning. It is now Monday, March 2nd. This is our next episode, our latest episode of Monday Morning Oases. You may have noticed that I deleted my last video on what I do for Lent, mainly because there was a, a, a very noticeable time lag between the audio and the video. And so I'll just repeat the, the gist of what I said in that video that for Lent, I'm planning to focus on one particular gospel throughout the four, four to five weeks of Lent. And then I will um, try my best to fast on Wednesdays and Fridays uh, and just have water and bread on those days. Um, and of course, I'm going to continue with the Liturgy of the Hours um, and I'll try to observe the Liturgy of the Hours as much as possible. And of course, I'm going to try to grow in humility and all the good things that make Christians what they are. So, focusing on one particular book of the Bible and praying for an end to this uh, coronavirus. And with that, I lead into this, uh, the meditation for today, which will be on the gift of fortitude. In the previous videos, we, sp we spoke, or I spoke at length, about the, uh, the things that hinder the Holy Spirit in our lives. Things like pride, things like sin, things like um, egoism and uh, materialism. These are all things that prevent the Holy Spirit from doing what He wants to do in our lives. Now, I would like to start with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And uh, because of the, the recent events, um, I think it's good to talk about the gift of fortitude. Uh, fortitude is, as the name set, suggests it is, it is uh, to be fortified against the temptations and the uh, attacks, uh, whether from the, uh, of this world or from the devil or from the flesh. Fortitude is what gives us the courage to do what we have to do, even despite all odds. Um, especially for someone like me who struggles a lot with anxiety, uh, fortitude has been a very good blessing in, um, in, in, in moments of, of terror. So I, uh, <sighs> I often pray for the gift of fortitude. So in the, this book, Forgotten Guests, which again, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I haven't been able to post lately, uh, things have been so hectic, um, but I, the same thing with the um, Romans Reflections. I, I, I found a few typos that I need to uh, correct, so I'll be posting that series of reflections that I think you'll like, um, hopefully this week. So anyway, there's a lot of detail here. Um, but in summary, uh, it says here that fortitude is a, is, is a habitual disposition which the Holy Spirit communicates to the soul and to the body to do and to suffer extraordinary things, to undertake the most arduous tasks or actions, to expose self to the most formidable dangers, to undergo the most toilsome labors, to endure the most grievous pains, and that with and that with constancy and heroism. So, if you're sick, fortitude gives you the courage to just trust and not be afraid. If you have to work a job that requires heavy labor, or if you're working in a, an environment that's very hostile to Christian morality, fortitude gives you the courage and the ability to. Keep your faith and not fear the consequences. Fortitude gives us the, the strength to die as martyrs if we have to. And so, uh, given all this coronavirus hype that's going on right now, uh, fortitude gives us the courage to go out and live our daily lives without fear of, of dying and to do the right thing. And remember that fortitude, there's the virtue of fortitude, which is something we do. We say, okay, I'm not giving up. I'm going to just, I'm just going to be strong and I'm going to work my way through this situation. 
But the, uh, the supernatural gift of fortitude is that additional help that the Holy Spirit gives, and it gives us the strength to do what we cannot do. Um, so if you're the kind of person who has uh, stage fright um, and you have to go up and give a public speech, <sighs> the Holy Spirit gives you the courage to do it. If you're the kind of person who needs to speak up about something and is afraid of the consequences, the Holy Spirit can give you the strength to do it. All we have to do is constantly pray for those gifts. Usually in my prayer intentions, I always include a prayer for the gifts of the Holy Spirit because God knows we need them. Um, and Jesus himself said that God, if, if men who are imperfect give, imper or people who are imperfect can give good gifts to those they love. The Holy, the, the the Father will give us Father. The Father in Christ will give us the Holy Spirit if we ask sincerely. So we must sincerely beg for the Holy Spirit and for the as, and for this gift of fortitude to get us through the, the these troubling times, to get us through these difficult times. So praise be to God for allowing me to have my voice back. Um, I pray for all the sick people, and I pray for the gift of fortitude that we can all um, be together in the kingdom of God.